When I came to India, one of my primary uh, motivations was to actually learn more about sound because in the West, people who are going deeper, they say, well, there are few cultures in the world who hold the secret of sound. Indian uh, old Vedic culture is one of them. Everything refers back to the Om. So I, uh, that was my motivation of coming to explore deeper. So I had done, when I arrived, before starting this project, I had done all the readings of all the available uh, Shastras which were in English translation. Natya Shastra, Tatilam, Dolkapiyam from the Tamil culture, Silapatikaram, and then Sankita Ratnakara. So I, I basically really wanted to understand what's behind it all. What's the origin of sound? What does it do? Uh, what is it for? And things like this. So that's I carried around in me and was a little bit in my ivory tower of research and spiritual practice. And then there was this social development context and in, I'm feeling very grateful now because basically that need pulled it down, made a connection with the ground and the work started. Basically when we came here then after one year from the village, it was successful, the boys did something useful, we had the first exhibition after one year and then this old carpentry here got available and then we came and our first classroom was under the Bodhi tree. We were just sitting under the tree uh, and started to learn to listen together to explore sounds and then from then on a step-by-step -step, uh, process unfolded and I think I was learning as much as the guys were learning because I had to uh, really reconsider and rethink how do I convey all this deep experience and research to those young people who basically were all school dropouts and most of them had even difficulties of reading and writing their own language. So that was an adventure for me. And in that way, I'm very happy I'm saying uh, it was like a manifestation of what we call here in our will co-evolution. We just got together and each one in their own way learned and progressed. Yeah. And I think that's in one way still a key to the project. It's like we're all learning. Whoever is involved, sometimes we have international researchers, but then they learn about the local context or pragmatics. We have volunteers here, we have technical experts here, we have the young trainees, we have the Amas uh, who are coming and starting to do some craft work, and we're all learning. I think that's the, still the key of the project, constant progress. <laughs> 